So, I'm going to bring up uh, Mr. Mark uh, Mangan. Uh, he and his wife are residents of Medina County. Uh, and I'm not going to mislead anyone here uh, in any way, but uh, his, uh, his story involves something not called hydraulic hor horizontal fracking, but the vertical fracking. Vertical fracking has been um, conducted in the state of Ohio for some time. Uh, the processes are somewhat similar. Uh, vertical, though, you just go straight down. The horizontal, you go down and then out horizontally and then frack. Uh, you have similar concerns and risks with the two, but in horizontal fracking, it is um, uh, magnified extensively. Uh, in this situation with the Mr. Magnet, uh, which he will be talking about, is they did a vertical frack. Uh, uh, the, uh, the vertical frack also uh, uses water, uh, and he will talk about what happened to his water supply when they used the water uh, and when they, they fracked. Uh, the problem we have here in Ohio is that the horizontal fracking, again, there, there's only a known a couple wells that have been horizontally fracked in Ohio. The experiences that Mr. Magden uh, are describing are similar experiences that people in other states in which have been involved in horizontal fracking through the identical experiences. And that's why we're, we're bringing him here, but I, I do want to be clear that it's a different type, uh, although similar uh, fracking process. Uh, and at this time, um, I'd like to uh, bring forward uh, Mr. Mark Mangan from Medina. Mark. Thank you, Senator. Hi, um, my name is Mark Mangan. Um, just to let you know, I'm a millwright for a steel workers company. I'm also a volunteer firefighter. So I, I have a lot of knowledge on the different things that can go wrong with the well drilling. Um, when they drilled the well by our house, it was back in September of 08. Um, we had no idea they were drilling at all. It wasn't something that anybody told us about, and it was done in Allardale Park, um, which is about 2,400 feet from our home. Um, when they drilled this gas well, the next day our, our water went dry on the 29th. Um, at first I thought our well pump went dry, you know, quit working. So I called the well company to come out and check our pump and he, and he checked our pump, but there was nothing wrong with our pump. He said we're out of water. And I asked him what can cause this and uh, he told me, are they drilling for gas well anywhere near you? And the night before, I had seen a drilling rig up at Allardale Park, all lit up, and people all around working on it. Um, so I told him that, and he goes, well, you need to contact ODNR. So we did. Um, the ODNR representative came out, and he told us, first he said that's probably what happened, then by the time he got to our house, he said, it couldn't have had, had any effect, you're too far away. And I go, well, what do you mean we're too far away? And he goes, well, I'll tell you what. If it was due to the drilling, your water will come back in five days. And if it doesn't, it had nothing to do with the drilling. Well, our water came back within five days. It just wasn't the water it was before. Um, our well used to produce 30 gallons a minute. Now it only produced three. Um, it was turned into salt water so bad that, I mean, if you tasted it, you'd spit it out. It was like drinking the ocean. Um, there was also this gray material in it that we later found out was cement. And it had a lot of bubbles in it, which we found out were natural gas. I mean, you could always, I mean, I shouldn't say you could always, but after this happened, we could always light these little bubbles on fire. Um, we wound up putting a cistern in um, because the hydrogen sulfide levels got so high in our house that it was setting alarms off. Um, so we wound up putting the cistern in. The night before we put our cistern in, we were actually able to light it right out of the faucet like you. Like, I don't know if anybody's seen the movie Gasland, but just like that movie. Um, and you can't imagine what it does to you. Your house, our house literally became a bomb. At any time, we, we wouldn't know what happened. I had to go buy gas meters to protect us. And it was drilled by the same company that drilled the well in Bainbridge that blew up the home in Bainbridge. Nine months after that, they drilled this well. Um, Personally, I don't understand how a company that can have that kind of a problem is allowed to drill again right away. But um, you can't imagine the horror 
Every time you take a shower, you're, you're not knowing what's going in your body. You had to wash your clothes in it. You had to wash your dishes in it. I mean, it's just, it's horrible. Um, it got to the point where the gas levels got so high, I had to call my own fire department out to check my house out. Um, they called, of course, ODNR out and Columbia Gas out. Um, Columbia Gas eventually shut off the gas to our house saying, it's not a matter of if your house is going to blow up, it's a matter of when, and we want no part of it. So until you get an outside water source, we're not going to supply you with gas. Now ODNR, <laughs> they, they didn't do anything for us. Um, we had to get our own water service a tank out there and, and supply water. Um, and it wasn't just us that was affected, it was our neighbor too. And our, our neighbor, the Boggses, um, he actually has MS. And because of all of the stress from this, his MS got so bad, they had to put a morphine pump in him because of the pain. It, it's just horrible what these drilling companies are allowed to do and can walk away from it. Um, but he actually, the night that we called the fire department, um, ODNR inspector came out and he's testing our wellhead for the LEL level. I don't know how much you know about LEL. That's a lower explosive limit. When it's 100%, all you need is a source of ignition and a thing will blow up. Well, he's testing our wellhead and he's got the old type of meter that you actually have to squeeze this, this ball on to, to suck up the gas or air or whatever it is to measure. Well, I'm watching him do it, and he's not squeezing the ball. And he goes, Mark, this is nothing. This is only 3% LDL. And him and I get into a dispute over it. And I go, tell you what, Columbia Gas is still on scene. Let's bring him over here and have him test it for us. Well, just then, he heard us talking, so he comes over. And the guy squeezes the ball and pumps it up. He got a reading of 77.8% LDL. And they did nothing for us. Absolutely nothing. Um, because of what happened at our house right now, their activities are under investigation. Um, that's all I really got to say. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity.